Hey everyone, and in today's video, I'll be showing how you could make your very own beautiful San Francisco sourdough bread. Let's get into it. First, we will be making the leven. So start by grabbing yourself a small jar, then grab some whole wheat flour. You'll need 35 grams of this exactly, as well as 35 grams of bread flour. The harpsichord's pretty nice in the background, but I think I may switch it up a little. That's better. And then grab 35 grams of sourdough starter. This can be bought at bakeries, um, but it might be hard to get during COVID times for obvious reasons. Anyways, with all that stuff, grab some water, one third of a cup to be exact, and pour it in. And after that, mix the mixture until fully combined. Scraping down the spoon if necessary, and then wrapping up with plastic wrap and leaving for five hours. One hour before the leven mixture is done, mix together your bread flour and wheat flour. You will need 90 grams of whole wheat flour first and 810 grams of bread flour. After you have all that, use a whisk to mix them together. After that, add 580 grams of water at 90 degrees Fahrenheit to that mixture and mix it all together. Only mix this for around five minutes because you don't want much gluten development. You just want the flour to become hydrated with the water. Scrape down your fingers like this or like this. I really could find no way to get this stuff off. Wrap up and let rest for one hour. A quick one hour later, unwrap the thing and take out your leven, which should have risen significantly since you originally mixed the flour and the starter together. And empty this entire container as much as you could get out into the prepped flour and water mixture. Make sure to wet down your hands so you could spread it. I found this will, of course, not get any of the <laughs> starter on your hand and it works Perfect, as long as you use a lot of water on your hands. Keep dipping it and spreading it. As soon as all of it is covered, start dabbing holes into the mixture, for lack of a better term. Just start poking as many holes as you can to get it nice and evenly distributed. After that, start lifting up the dough and mixing this into it. Try and be a little rigorous with it. Don't be nice with it, because this dough is very tough at the moment. Um, of course, add more water as you need. Add little bits at a time because you don't want to wet this dough down too much. And just mix it for about three minutes. After mixing it, grab one end of the dough and start kind of flopping it like this, for lack of a better term. Um, this will make a very interesting sound. Sadly, the microphone wasn't able to pick it up. So just do this really weird motion. Wet down your hand and do this about three times for a total of about two minutes. Uh, scrape down the bowls and by the end it should look like this. Almost like mozzarella. Then once again wrap and let rest for 20 minutes. During these 20 minutes take 18 grams of sea salt and 100 grams of lukewarm water at around 70 degrees Fahrenheit. And then of course, like everything else, mix it together. You can use a tiny whisk like me. And then after the 20 minutes, add it to your mixture and just mix it in there. I would suggest mixing for around four minutes to make sure everything is thoroughly combined. Then after that, clean down a small area on your counter and put the spooky looking dough on it and kind of stretch and fold like what I'm doing. I don't really know how to describe it. Just smack it down as hard as you can on the cupboard and kind of fold it over itself like this. You want to grab it from the side, smack it down, pull it towards you, flip over, grab it from the side, smack it down, fold it over, and do this for around five minutes or until it kind of starts to resemble a ball of dough. 
Then once again, wrap and let rest for another 15 minutes, cleaning down your workstation as you go. Now here is, I'd say the second hardest part. Start by taking some water, wetting down your hand, and taking the dough, pulling it up so that it doesn't rip, and then folding it over itself. You'll want to do this six times in a kind of hexagonal pattern. And then you will want to do this with the dough six different times at around 15 to 30 minute intervals. I'll put the whole instructions on how to do this right up here on the screen because it's a little hard to explain just with video and audio. Then after waiting 1.5 hours, take off the wrap and then with a bowl scraper, you will need this, this is a key tool to the next part, scrape down the whole bowl do not flour your workstation and take out the sourdough dough onto a clean section of cupboard. Once again, you will want to grab your bread dough and almost make a line down the center of this dough because we'll be splitting this into two different, I'd like to say bread pieces, um, and then kind of just go around the edges like this and make it into a ball. You'll want to use kind of the more flat side to do this. Just keep twisting the ball. and do the exact same thing to the other side. You'll want to space these out pretty far because the next step does require a bit of space. And uh, yeah. Then grab yourself some bannetons. These could be found on Amazon. They're around $20 each. And just flour them down with about a tablespoon of flour, maybe two tablespoons of flour each, just like what I'm doing. Um, it's okay to do these over top of the lobes because we'll be flowering down the tops right now um, and then just kind of spreading them all over because we will be needing to flip these over right now so once again spin it around like we did earlier and then unstick the bottom of the little dough balls and then flip it over like that really quickly then taking one side fold it over like this and then take the side closest to you flip it over that and then take the farthest side away from you and flip it over that one, making sure they're all stick together, and then flip it over and roll it like this, making sure it doesn't stick on the way, and kind of checking for an anus right there. This will allow air to get to the insides of the bread because we want it nice and almost bubbly. Again, doing the same stuff to the other loaf, folding it over uh, itself, and then folding it all over and sealing it by doing that. And we have two little, I don't know, bread people with, of course, anuses for proper airflow. Once again, flour down the surface and grab the bannetons and then quickly scoop them up like that, flip them over and put them inside. Then seal up the holes just like this and do the same thing with the other one, making sure you work quickly so that all your hard work of flipping those over doesn't go to waste. Then once again, wrap it up. I'm using rubber bands because you need these to go into the fridge overnight. That's one done, and here's the second one. And we'll be coming back tomorrow morning to put these babies in the oven. See you guys then. Okay everyone, the first thing you want to do when you wake up is preheat your oven to 500 degrees Fahrenheit. And as the oven is heating up, put in your Dutch oven in the oven to heat up with it for around one hour. Ooh, that's hot. Lid off, off to the side. Get your bread from the fridge. Here is the most dangerous part of this whole thing. So what you gotta do, take your bread flour a good tablespoon or two and just sprinkle the bottom of the loaf pan or I don't know what you call us. Dutch oven. Cover the whole bottom of it in flour. Take off the wrap. Okay and you might also want to just uh, put a bit of flour on the top of the loaf just to make sure that it doesn't stick during cooking. With an oven mitt in your hand. Lightly transfer as to not burn your hand.
like so. I'm using this tool, common razor blade, to score the top. What you gotta do with our razor, hold the, hold the edges of it, and just go down the center. The center. Or, you know what, whatever you wanna do. It's your bread, not mine. I'm just the teacher here. And just make any kind of detailing you want. And make sure the cuts are at least at least a half a centimeter deep because you want them to open up while cooking. Lid back on into the oven for 20 minutes. Oh, into the oven at 500 for 20 minutes. And then at the 20 minute mark, take off the top and lower the temperature to 450 degrees Fahrenheit. Oven mitt in hand, reach under, gently place it, and there you go. Listen to this. See if you can hear that crackle. Now that is a beautifully done sourdough loaf. So I encourage all of you to attempt to make your own. They're really fun to do. However, they do take 31 hours. So I would carve out a whole day or a whole half a day to do what we did yesterday, if that makes any sense. So um, yeah, I'm not good at outros. So enjoy your bread. Look at that. If you wanted to go full San Francisco on this, you'd put some lovely guacamole, chili flakes, maybe some truffle oil, make some good old fashioned avocado toast. But to be honest, this with just a simple smearing of butter would taste absolutely incredible. Enjoy your bread.